Hey, hello guys. Mr. Hockeyfield here again with another cool trick that I learned. So, today I got a Bicycle Dragons back deck. And it came with a uh, double backed. Oh, wait, that's not it. Double backed card. So, you can easily make one of these with double stick tape if you'd like. Or you can just go buy a deck. I would recommend just making one if you have extra cards. So, you want to want to place that on the top of the deck. But first, I'll show you the trick. Okay, so I spread the cards out. Let's put that right here. Spread the cards out. Okay, let's re spread it. And ask the spectator to pick a card. So, say they pick this one. Okay, so then what you do is you okay so then their card was the ten of clubs right so then I'm gonna place their card on the top of the deck okay just like this and I'm gonna flip their card over and place it right here on top of my ace of hearts okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give the deck some cuts right and their card is not at the top, right? So the ten of clubs is not at the top, okay? So then what you do is you give it some more cuts, okay? And then you can even go like this, okay? You can have the, you can shuffle the cards if you like. Just make, right? No, whoops, just need to press that because sometimes my laptop, it blacks out. And then all you have to do, snap your fingers, and there, ten of clubs jumps to the top. Okay, so now I'll do the tutorial for it. So I'll just start off with a fresh deck. Okay, right here, normal. And then the card that was on the table was your double back card. Okay, so you put your double back card on the top of the deck, and then you spread the cards out like this and then say they pick this one right here which is the six of diamonds so then you you can go like this just make sure you don't show that double backer right here and then go like this and get a pinky break underneath the top card so then they can't see it and then you take their card you put it on the top of the deck and then you lift it up with your double backer so that you have two and you flip it over and then you when you say you're putting it on the table you're really putting the double backer on the table right so I have a mat right here so I just put it on my heart and then I give it some fake cuts or false cuts I should say right and then you can even shuffle it making sure that the six of diamonds stays on top of the deck and then once you've done that you show the spectator you get another I like to go like this through the deck until you get to the last two cards and then get a pinky break underneath it and then lift it up and show them that this was not your card right you can even have, you can even do a triple lift if you would like but I accident I do a triple lift because then you can even show them that this card isn't yours either and then you put that one back and then you flip it over right and then you go like okay I'm gonna bring your card to the top you snap you ruffle through and now what you wanna do is you wanna get that double lift and then flip it over and be like hey was this your card and then they will say no and then you turn it back over and then you say okay I'm gonna snap your card and make it teleport from here to here and you snap your fingers and there's six of diamonds jumps into this pile and then you don't want to show them this card because then they'll know it was double backed. Um, but yes, that is basically what you do. So please rate, subscribe, like, um, and then I think that is pretty much all. So, um, so what you want to do, or you can also leave a comment if you like, and then. Me and my friend Jordan, 
We might be hosting a contest together. I will both be supplying prizes, but that's only if I get about a hundred subscribers or so because because then if I do then I have to start saving up my money for shipping and that might not be until about mm, my birthday which is in May so if you want a contest then comment underneath any of the videos from March about 27th till now and then before or you can also personal message me um, or you can email me if you would like at spencer.w.taylor at gmail.com. So, yes, that is pretty much all. I will, uh, catch you next time.